So it looks pretty crowded here. Once again, I've kind of gone against my golden rule and gone out on a weekend. It's also 20 something degrees outside right now. Um, yes, I am as cold as I look. So let's get inside and see what we can find. I honestly kind of breeze past this booth most of the time, but I couldn't help but notice all these Cupid Dolls 25. I just got one of those at Roller Mills. Um, this one, that is, I'm guessing, yeah, 20. Cameo Dolls, so cute. How much is it? Just out of curiosity, 18. That is that is pricey. That's All right, well, we're going to leave those there. Let's see what else they got. I kind of like the Knickerbocker Bozo Doll. It's not in the best condition. It's definitely priced at retail, too. I used to be obsessed with Bozo the Clown. Little pink elephant figurine. I've had him before. Six bucks. What is that? Oh, it's the firehouse next door. <laughs> yeah, I've had that one before, so I'm going to leave it. I'm going to get away from this siren situation. I finally found a little spot that wasn't uh, overcrowded. Lenticular eyes. I've had these before. 22. That's definitely retail. Happy corn. Those are more common. And another Holt Howard set, 35. It's missing its uh, metal stand. This booth usually has such fun knickknacks. Let's see. Slay, 22. Love the celluloid reindeer on that. Here's a grouping of them. Those are hard plastic. Um, Not seeing that anything that really jumps out at me though. Oh, there's another bozo. <laughs> there's plenty of bozos on here. 20 bucks, that's more like it. Kind of fun. I'm not sure how well that would sell. I'm careful to pick it up at that price. I don't think that leaves enough room for me. Oh, and I see now he's got some damage on his outfit. Ooh, this is an awesome candle holder. 26 that's pretty close to what I'd get for that after fees unfortunately definitely a harder to find one and it's in really good condition okay I have to point this out because it kind of bugs me I love this art glass deer even though he seems to be missing an eyeball I picked a couple of these up in Virginia because they felt like uh they were adorable and would sell quick, but I still have them and it's been a couple months. So I'm not gonna go ahead and do that again. Kinda already know it's gonna be out of my price point, but I do have to stop and check the tag on this incredible TV lamp. 135, that is, that is awesome. It's, I think it's kind of fair, honest. Is it just, well, I guess it's missing the light, but still love those. Here we go. This is one of my favorite booths. I cannot lie though, it's a little too crowded in here for me today. I think, uh, I know I've said this before, but this is probably gonna be the last time I go out on like this on a weekend. Really like these milk glass shakers. These are cool. How unusual is this? Huh, match holder. That's a really neat piece. I've never seen one quite like that before. Lots of Christmas. These glasses are kind of cool. Hmm. I've had these a bunch. This is a reproduction one. Uh, oh my gosh, how did I not see this immediately? How spectacular is this? That is Lefton, $18 and 20% off. That probably leaves a couple dollars room for me, not much. Um, I feel like something like this I would just buy because I, someone's probably looking for it not to make profit and I can't do that too often. I really like the owl wall plaque back there and I've had this elf music box before. And Zeph Originals, missing the rest of its set. Speaking of Hosef Originals, I still think these frogs are so fun. I'm just now noticing that the flower has a little happy face in it, how cute. I can't lie, I'm a little bit bothered that that Holt Howard uh, cat ashtray is still there. $65. There's no discount though. 
still, oh, it's just so close. It's such an awesome piece though. Kinda into this swan planter. $10. That is kinda neat. Hmm. Hey, look at this little Hosef Originals Christmas girl. 36. There's a couple interesting things in this case. I really like the pink spaghetti dog salt and pepper shakers, 24. Even with 20% off, that's too close for resale. And then the flower pot, it's plastic roses. And then the base is a pot, but it's also a sugar bowl. Again, it's at retail though. This is really interesting. The celluloid, uh, the celluloid prayer book. That's not something I see every day and that's a really good price. If it was a Bible, a celluloid covered Bible, I would definitely uh, use my energy to get the key for that. But I think just for the prayer book, I'll leave it. And we got a lot of neat little knickknacks in here. Okay, now we're talking, I see a lot of stuff. But most importantly, a Santa Claus pajama bag. Oh my gosh, he is spectacular. That's actually, I think a really fair price. This is in really good condition and it's super hard to find these. What a neat thing, dang. That's gonna be kind of hard to see past that. These are also kind of neat. I like this neon orange color, $8. I'm not sure how well they'd sell for me right now. It's kind of a strange time of year. People I feel like are buying more Christmas than neon orange. And then they got the hobbyist snowman salt and pepper shakers. I sold those for about that after fees last year. A little tea light. More, more, more. Not seeing anything that I haven't really had before, which is kind of what I'm on the move for. Left in. That's kind of neat. Glass tree. And I do like this uh, Santa with the chimney. It's kind of unusual. Little spaghetti trim, bone china bell. I've had that a bunch. Another Hosea for originals missing its mate. Oh man, I wish there was a pair of these. This is a super fun candle holder. Well, this is kind of neat too. It's like a hobbyist piece. It looks new. Still $20. That's super fair. I think that's really fun. Hmm. Not sure how, uh, how I feel about the age of it but the concept I like, and it's got a great expression. These are Hold Howard too. And I can't help but notice this California pottery. She's kind of pretty. Hey, look at this one. Oh, it's a single shaker, dang. This booth has the 40% off and I couldn't help but notice this funny planter. 20 bucks and 40%, not bad. Got more Christmas. Let me put my basket down. It's kind of a tight squeeze through here. This definitely caught my attention. 22. What's happening here? Vintage baby music box. It's got a little knee hugger in it. It's made in Japan. That is pretty spectacular. Is there a discount in here? I'm such a cheapo. <laughs> No, there isn't. I could still probably make a couple bucks off that, but I'm not willing to invest that much into it. Oh, wait a minute. Reindeer, 20 for the pair. It's $10 a piece. That's not bad at all. Hmm. What is happening here? That's kind of neat, is it? Yeah. What is going on? $40, what does it say? MCM black round vase with clear front. You know, that is really cool. I actually would like that. I wouldn't mind that for myself. I feel like you could do cool stuff with it, but I'm too cheap for 40 bucks. Funny little elves. Let me see. Uh, gosh, you know, I'm so hesitant to pick a lot of these up because the reproductions they're making these days look just like the original. It's like, unless I'm absolutely positive, I. Um, I'd try to stay away from them. 
these don't look all original. And although I could be wrong. Hmm. Oh, that's locked. Just kidding. I was gonna say, look at this candle holder. That is definitely a harder one to find. I'm not sure how the uh, 165 pans out. It's Lipper Man. I'd have to look it up. Either way, I'm definitely, definitely a collector's prize, not reseller. And I really like these. Lucite Roses candle holder. It looks like they've got some damage. I've had those before. Oh, I almost missed this. Another California pottery girl. Wait a minute. This one's $38 and 40%. Hmm, that's a pretty good price. I wonder how well those sell though. I I feel like the last couple times I bought them, they haven't had much luck. And the cat bookends. I guess I'm kind of grasping for straws at this point. I'm surprised I went through this whole thing and didn't really find anything that got me super excited. I just had to get one better look at this guy. And I love the little lamb chair he's in. Little Maya Cord de decal on it. Oh, so fun. So I didn't really find anything today. It happens. So I'm gonna just call it a day. I'm kind of excited to take a little bit of a road trip and um, be away from the antique malls for a couple weeks. I know it's kind of crazy to think about myself not going out to antique malls for uh, for 10 days or whatever, but I'm ready to get this like mini vacation-esque thing started. And when I return, I'm gonna be super excited to see what they've restocked the shelves for. So I will see you guys tomorrow and it will be like I never left.